A uniform distribution describes a situation where each event is equally likely to occur. Therefore, graphs of uniform distributions always have a rectangular shape, because the likelihood of every event is the same. Rolling a dice is an example of a discrete uniform distribution, as each side of the dice is equally likely to show up. An example of a continuous uniform distribution could be what time the next bus arrives when you know it arrives every hour, but you don't know when the last one left. Let's imagine this bus example and ask ourselves four questions. Number one, what is the probability density function? Number two, how do we draw a continuous distribution graph? Number three, what is the likelihood of us having to wait between five to 20 minutes? And number four, what is the mean and standard deviation? To answer the first question, we need the formula for the probability density function, which is fx equals one divided by b minus a. In this formula, one is the total probability of all possible outcomes, i.e. 100% or one. b is the upper bound or the maximum amount of time we must wait and a is the lower bound or the minimum amount of time we can wait for the bus. This means that the probability density function can be written as one divided by 60 minus zero. Moving on to the second question, to graph this we will simply mark where points a and b are on the x-axis and the point where the probability density function is on the y-axis. Then we draw a rectangle including all three points. In other words, the rectangle will include all possible events and their probabilities. Then for the third question, to find the likelihood that we will have to wait between 5 and 20 minutes for this bus, we'll simply draw a smaller rectangle in the same way. So in this case, A will be 5, B will be 20, and the probability density function will still be the same. Then we simply calculate the area of this new rectangle. So the base equals 20 minus 5, which is 15, times the height of the rectangle, which is still 1 divided by 60. So 15 divided by 60 equals 0 0.25 or 25%. For the final question, the formulae for the mean and standard deviation are mean equals a plus b divided by 2 and standard deviation equals b minus a divided by the square root of 12. So if we plug in those numbers, we see that the mean in this situation is 30 minutes and the standard deviation is 17.321 minutes. However, it is worth noting that the mean and standard deviation for uniform distribution holds no predictive power. This is because all events are equally likely to occur, unlike for example a normal distribution where most of the events are clustered around the mean. If you want to learn more about statistics, check out this playlist.